Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is that time of the year again. I have two easy Halloween costumes for you to DIY. Without any further delay, let's jump into today's video. The first costume that we're going to be doing is Pippi Longstocking. Yes, if you remember her, comment below. If you don't, hit like. Let's start off with her multicolored socks by using acrylic paint. I chose acrylic because it's more suitable for fabric. In order to create stripes, lay the sock down flat and cut down little pieces of packing tape and stick it at equal intervals like this. I also tried to buy a striped and purple socks but I didn't find any exactly that matched Pippi's. So I decided to paint them. There's always a way. So with generous amount of paint and using a sponge, dab forcefully. Trust me, you're gonna need the force. Ensure the paint goes through all the fold and creases. Also, please wear gloves as the paint is hard to wash away. Don't be like me. This is how it will look once the paint dries. Now, to the other side. After the red paint is dried out completely, we're gonna paint the white gaps yellow. Using acrylic paint, repeat the process. I also bought purple paint and painted the other socks the same way, without the tapes of course. And the little white part in the end will remain white as it will be hidden in the boots. Now for the yellow pocket dress. If you have any blue dungaree, take advantage of it. For the pockets, use any white cloth. I had muslin so I'm gonna trace the pockets just like that. You can even freehand if there are no pockets in your dress, whatever works for you. Once your pocket is drawn, cut it out. Try it on top of your dress to check if it's the right size. Once you're happy with it, paint it yellow. I went ahead and sewed the pocket instead of gluing because it'll be easy to remove it later and use the dungaree again. Are you ready to see the final look? Here comes the next costume. I am sure we are all familiar with Little Red Riding Hood. Let's begin with the cape. I got this nice full length cape from Walmart for $8. I tried a lot of tying techniques to make a red skirt from a different fabric but none of it matched the material and color. And since I did not need the full length, I measured from my waist to knee length to make the skirt. As you can see, I cut off 17 inches from bottom up. There's no right or wrong way to start off the skirt. Just pick a side and fold it up to an inch and sew it along a straight line. This is how it's gonna look. Not a perfect stitch, but it'll do. I also went ahead and sewed the sides and left a little opening where the thread will go. And since it's a jersey knit, it's not gonna fray. So I didn't bother double folding them. It's nice and strong when you backstitch the ends. You can use an elastic or any type of thread for this one. I'm using a shoelace. Slowly push the aglet inside the gap and pull it. Keep repeating the process until the lace comes off the other side. If you are using an elastic, stick a safety pin or a hairpin and that will help you push the elastic or thread inside. It's so calming and relaxing to do this process and once you see your thread come off the other side, quickly grab the other end and make a knot so that it doesn't go back inside again. And our skirt is ready! Now for the corset, take a long rectangle fabric, one inch smaller than your waist size. It has to be tight. It could be of any material. 
Stitch any fray ends and place the right sides on top of each other and sew a straight line. We're basically making a rectangular tube. Turn the tube inside out and flatten it. Here comes the difficult parts of placing the eyelids. I got these from Walmart for $7 I think. Now we're gonna mark where the eyelids are gonna go and this is where we're gonna cut and make the hole where the corset's lace is gonna go inside. Using a scissor, cut the places where we've marked with the chalk. This was actually kind of tricky and difficult for me to get, but be very patient and be really careful when you're using your scissor and you'll get there. Now place these eyelid parts on the hole that we just made and with this tool, press the eyelids in place and using any heavy object, beat the eyelids in place until they're set. And this is what our final corset would look like and we're gonna thread the lace now. For the lace you can use any shoelace or any black lace uh, fabric that you might have but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this unnecessary step. Once you have your lace, thread it into the eyelids that we placed, the corset holes that we made. And you can do this like a shoelace or any kind of shapes and uh, designs that you want. And finally, once you have tied the knot, your corset is finished. Are you ready to see the final look?